Same stuff is like 10.30 at 3 p.m. Okay. At 3 p.m. we're actually rolling over into live panels. So this year we decided to step away from talks because we think talks are a little bit too one-sided and we want to get that yeah. conversational aspect. So we're doing some really awesome in-person panels. Yeah. 3 p.m. today we're doing uh, threat hunting at scale. Uh, right after that, we're doing leveling up your security skills, which is really focused on, on your you know, progression in your mm -hmm. technical abilities. At 5 p.m., I'm actually running a cloud panel on the cloud GFIR and engineering around that. I'm a big cloud person. Um, and then tomorrow, we also have um, uh, challenges and control validation, 3 p.m. Uh, then we have making your socks suck less. Oh Just, that was going to be really fun. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that one. And then we're going to close it out with uh, latest and greatest in incident response. Uh, um, but you've covered a ton. So I'm going to push yeah. back a little bit because there's so much going on. Yeah. I want to jump back to, you said there's like kind of these modules going back through the, uh, mm -hmm. the, at the attack chain. Are those things that anyone can do at home or is that only at the Yeah, con? so we're actually going to be doing this year round. Really? This whole project, everything's going to be, all the recordings are going to be posted online afterwards. Um, and it's just gonna, it's gonna be something where people can join the conversation. So if you go to blueteamvillage.org, we have a link to our Discord server where uh, you can participate year round. Um, and we have a whole Project Obsidian group. You can interact, there's a, a small CCF going on as well. Um, that's more information about that on the website by, as well. By the way, I am absolutely floored that you're like, we're able to keep this conversation going. <laughs> there is legitimately, right behind the camera, like 15 people coming up and down. This whole room is filled with hundreds of people. <laughs> like. Uh, kudos to you because even I'm <laughs> struggling with this. You're getting a harder job as you're talking so much. <laughs> so, no, you know, it's a lot of fun. And like, I, I, Blue Team Village is really about taking people where they are and helping them get to the next level, building their confidence in their technical abilities. And also, I mean, Blue Team Village is the closest aligned to like what, what the industry, like what an industry is. So, we want to make sure that we kind of get people involved and really and help them develop those skills. So it, that's our whole mission. I do have a question. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we were just at the Red Team Village, <laughs> and now we're at the Blue Team Village. And it is, is there a rivalry there, or is this kind of like... There's no rivalry? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I am laughing because you start looking at the two villages, and you start seeing people like feel like they're taking sides and whatnot. Def Con, I don't know, they have the red shirts, so I'm not, am I allowed in here? No. With well, yeah, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be here without the red side. The red side wouldn't be with, here without us. And you know, we're either gonna like walk into the hallway and have a little you know foam sword fight with the, between the blue-haired people and the red-haired people, or hey, maybe we'll just like do some crossover and make purple team village and everyone will be happy. There you go. But, so yeah. <laughs> with, with some of the chal uh, challenges seeing so going through the attack chain, when you're going through. Is there some people there to be able to like help you through them, or are they are, like, are these made for experts, or this is made for like anyone who just wants to go ahead and get started? We're really trying to make it uh, um, approachable content that anyone can access. So a lot of them are really focused on kind of like just that that introductory. Um, the stations we have some pre-recorded content that people are listening to with headphones, but we also have people available to answer questions. Okay. And um, on the main stage right now, we're also doing live walkthroughs where it's a little bit you know it's less hands-on and more of like explaining about kind of what what's actually going on so you know we kind of have a little bit of of everything um and again like i mentioned it's going to be a year-round thing so you know eventually we're hoping to expand it to the point where we have a, a content that's approachable from whatever level someone is at okay. and where can they go to learn more about us blueteamvillage.org oh that's an easy one to remember yeah. <laughs> well, hey i know you're running about you have so much else to do oh gallery you had a question Oh, how long have you been coming to DEF CON? Oh, so this is actually my fifth year because I started as a Blue Team Village volunteer and privilege escalated my way to director. Well, okay, <laughs> hold on. How did that happen? Like, how did you go about... <laughs> how, I need to hear that. So I just, I knew one of the guys who, who created this, uh, Vayox, this is his handle. And uh, I just volunteered the first year and I'm like, I, I think volunteering is such a great way to get introduced to DEF CON because there's just so much going on. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to start somewhere when you start as a volunteer. So, and I just stuck around and then suddenly it was like, oh, I'm willing to do these things. Okay, I guess I'm a director now. <laughs> I love how many of those stories happen. You're like, oh yeah, I, I started, I came to the village, I volunteered and now I run that. <laughs> this, yeah. this is incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking yeah. the time to talk to me. Like there is really so much going on. Thanks for watching and hack on.